Senator from Massachusetts. Mr. President, we are here today because Republicans' discrimination against women knows no boundaries. They think a woman's right to choose is still up for discussion. It is not. Let me be clear. A woman's right to choose is a discussion for a woman and her doctor. That is it. And a health provider receiving federal funds should be judged on their ability to serve a patient. That is it. Today, Republicans are voting on a measure that would allow states to discriminate against family planning providers, simply because they do not like the populations they treat or the services they provide. It would embolden a state to restrict federal funding for only health centers that serve primarily minority populations or patients who identify as LGBTQ. And it would allow a state to strip away federal investments in family planning clinics that serve women's reproductive health needs. These are not hypothetical concerns. Women's reproductive care is under attack by extreme right-wing Republicans across this country. State politicians introduced more than 500 bills restricting access to reproductive health care in 2016, enacting more than 60 new abortion restrictions last year. Let's be clear. The result of today's vote means that there will be less access to care for women and families across this country. Health centers receiving Title X funding provide basic primary and preventative health care services such as HIV testing and contraception to more than 4 million women and men at nearly 4,000 health care centers nationwide. It is because of the work done at these centers that we are now at a 30-year low in unintended pregnancies, a historic low in teen pregnancy, and have the lowest rate of abortions since the Supreme Court ruled that abortion was legal in 1973. We are a healthier nation because of family planning clinics who receive Title X funding. Now, more than ever, we need to stand up and raise our voice against the Republican Party's agenda of discrimination. It is about fighting for the freedom to make decisions in our personal lives without the fear of interference from our own government. It's about the access to opportunity that comes from quality, affordable health care, and making sure that access is never restricted no matter what gender you are. But with Donald Trump as president and both chambers of Congress now controlled by the GOP, National Republicans are in the best position in decades to enact a radical agenda that rolls back women's rights. Today is just one step in their massive plan to take women's rights right back to the 19th century. I know they will not back down from enacting their radical agenda, but I also know that we who want to protect women's rights will not back down from this fight. It is an historic battle. This vote is an historic vote. I urge all members to vote no. And I yield back, Mr. President, the balance of my time.